My name is Michael Toth. I am the writer, director, and producer of this project. In 1717, four Masonic lodges, which had been meeting from time immemorial, met and consecrated the first Masonic Grand Lodge in London, England. It was the first public and formally acknowledged organization of Freemasons. The year 2017 will be the 300th anniversary. When in 1717 it came out in public, Freemasonry may well have pioneered the very concept of religious freedom, the individual right to worship God according to one's own conscience. Masons believed in the education of children by laymen. They also believed in the outrageous idea that people have the right to make their own laws, and choose their own rulers, and elect their own government. These concepts of Masonic purpose were new, different, and important. To honor that special occasion, I am developing a dramatic feature. This will be a 90 minute long TV pilot in subsequent 32 episodes, approximately 55 minutes each. The 33 episode structure is indicative and symbolic of 33 degrees a Freemason can obtain in his journey of instruction through Freemasonry. People ask me what kind of TV series this would be. Just imagine a program with great actors, with elements and the quality of the Mad Men TV series, Game of Thrones, Boardwalk Empire, and Downtown Abbey in one epic story. Dozens of documentaries were produced and broadcast on TV cable channels, but none of them with the real understanding of what Freemasonry is all about. It is about time to show the world the real story of Freemasonry and the real character of the so-called secret society that's been behind the scenes of history for so many centuries. This is a story about an imaginary fictional branch of one famous Masonic family, the Sinclairs. Many members of this family belong to the Society of the Freemasons, but some of their own kin violently oppose the principles, philosophy, and actions of the so-called craft. In this family and its centuries-old history, there are doomed relationships, love, hate, murder, even deep friendships between rivals. Throughout the series, we will see the changes that took place in societies at some crucial moments of the thousand-year-old history of their family tree. While some members influenced actual historical events of their era, others were crushed and forgotten by history. The series will portray the ebb and flow of the Sinclair family fortunes, as well as the Freemasons' fortunes from multiple perspectives. The story of the series will take place mostly in three time periods in America and Europe. Contemporary 21st century, the 1930s and 40s, and the 1960s. Also, there will be occasional short excursions into different time periods and locations, such as the Middle Ages, French Revolution, the American Revolutionary War, etc. Knowing this intriguing saga is based in historical facts, this story will compel viewers to return. They'll become enchanted with the characters that visit their homes every week. We will be filming on location in six countries on three continents. The Masons TV series will be seen not only in the U.S., but also in every country in the free world where the Freemasons fraternity has built up centuries of both intense devotion and equally dedicated antagonism. Fascination with Freemasonry as a historical subject is obvious. The depth of its influence through world-famous men over the last 300 years, if not longer, would provide any filmmaker with an extensive and colorful palette from which to create. The question is who would watch a dramatic TV series with the subject of Freemasonry? We are confident that there are a huge number of people who are interested in this subject. There are about 6 million Freemasons throughout the world, of whom about 1,500,000 are in this country. There are an additional 15 million men and women who are members of groups either founded by or directly related to Freemasonry. If we only count Masons, affiliated organizations, and their families in the U.S. alone, there are at least 20 million people very motivated to watch this program. Then, there are the many other people who aren't connected to Freemasonry, but are very much interested to find out more about our so-called secret society.